This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, two hours left to go in the trading week. And we got a relatively calm market out there. S&Ps right now positive by five points, trading at 2931. You get the NASDAQ right now negative by four points, trading at 8,114. And the Dow positive by 10 points, trading at 26,470. Quite a day for gold to the upside, up $9 at 1288.60. Had been above 1290 briefly at one point. Oil on the flip side, big time negative action, down $2.23, trading at 62.98. Dollar index, negative 234 ticks right now, trading at 97,685. And notes and bonds, higher price, lower yields, 10 year note plus 7 ticks, 123.20. 30 year bond up seven, uh, 12 ticks, 147.17. And we'll start things off. I'm going to jump over. Speaking of notes and bonds, here is the 10 year yield. So, of course, we get the GDP number at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time this morning. We saw an initial spike higher on that number, probably having to do with the headline growth above 3%. But as you get into those numbers, it might not be as rosy as that headline number predicts. Still a pretty strong number, but nonetheless, we got a spike to above 2.54, and then we just kind of pulled right back, hanging at 2.5% on that 10-year yield. Jumping over to the futures markets, we'll start it off with the Dow, 26,450. And as you can see, since about 11 a.m., the last three hours, market hasn't done much at all. Just hanging at these highs. Excuse me, NASDAQ 100. Pretty similar story. There's your 8.30 bar for some volatility on GDP. We trade lower from about 9 a.m. until 10. We climb higher until 11. And then the last three hours, folks, we just might see the end of this trading day be pretty calm. S&Ps, much the same. Since about 11 a.m. this morning, we've been sitting at about 29.31. Crude oil pulled back pretty hard this morning, backing it up 4 a.m. We're trading at $65 a barrel, currently just peaking back above $63 for the price of June crude. Gold contract trading at $1288.82 and the euro trading $111.57. And as we finish up the update, a quick glimpse at currencies, the four of them making up the dollar index. There's your dollar index on the top left, euro, yen, and the good old pound trend at 129.27. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White coming up right now with the Power Trading Hour. Then, of course, Tom O'Brien live from 3 till 4. Have a great Friday.